Shabbat Shalom, beloved. A word. I was listening to a sister. She is a prophetess. And as she spoke today, it was confirming something that the Lord was constantly putting in my spirit. Okay, I even had someone share this scripture with me previous to me hearing her. She was speaking about India and the people from India and about the fact that India is going through a rage of coronavirus right now, the rage of it. And one of the things that I recognize, too, was they're being judged. They're being judged for how they treat Yasharel, not just there, but here in America, how they kowtow to the Babylonians, how they think they are the next so-called boss, and how they worship multiple no-gods, multiple no-gods, okay? One of the things, is that I heard <clears throat> because it made me remember something that we have been told, but she referenced it to the people of India, and it does not apply, beloved. It does not apply. She said, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I, Yah, hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. The first thing that you hear in this statement, if my people. Now, those who trust in the word of the Lord, will he save them? Does he have sheep that are not of, that, of our fold? Yes, he does. But in this particular instance, he's talking with Solomon. He's talking directly about Yasharet. He is not talking about India. And let's not forget that in the book of Deuteronomy in the 30th chapter, after we suffer all those bless, those curses, that he will judge the other nations, okay? One of the things, you know, when the Lord puts something on you, a lot of people want to talk soft. They want to hear sweet words. But many times the prophets of old said the burden of the Lord was upon me. The reason being there were things that needed to be said that everybody may not have felt were all soft and cushy and what they wanted to hear. But that did not change the truth of it. India, which is part of Asia, is under judgment. The Middle East is flooding. China flooding just tore up. Here in America right now, they have an anti-Asian hate act, hate law. One of the very first people they charged with a hate crime against an Asian was an African-American woman, an Israelite. They want to deflect. But one of the very first people, they want to change the narrative, so to speak. The first person that should have been held with that hate crime was the man that started it. In, in such a massive volume, and he had a spray faint painted face, yellow hair, and lived in a house called the white one. Okay, that's the one, that hate crime, it should be charged with, that hate crime, because he spread it from a high position. Instead of trying to deflect and go at Yasharel because the enemy is using people as he will, one of the reasons that uh, the coronavirus is running amok in India, what the devil meant for our bad, y'all will use for our good. And I'm saying that to say that devil who created that man-made pestilence, he's using it to depopulate the world because one of the things the sister said I agree with because I was talking about it. 
And I believe when the Lord pours out his spirit and his word upon his people, and we begin to prophesy and speak, and prophecy being not just knowledge of things to come, things that are going on that you may not be present at the place to visually see, but the Lord opens your eyes. We're children of the light. What does that mean? We're illuminated, eyes open. We are illuminated. We see Babylon falling, crashing, plummeting to the bottom of this sea of abyss of death and murder. It is exposed. The world sees it. One of the things in Second Baruch it talks about is when Baruch is talking to the angel of the Lord, he wants to know when will it be the end of Esau's reign? When will it be the end of the matter? And he tells him 12 different things that will go on. One of the things is the beginning of commotions, commotions. We got demons walking around. You can see it. They're they're showing themselves. The country has no moral compass. I'm talking Babylon. Anything goes now. Anything goes. The truth is held as something to be hated if it doesn't go along with. And you must understand when I say he's judging these nations. These are the nations, if they did not participate in the actual murder of Yashara, they participate in the oppression, trying to gain a financial foothold. We're going to come in and get to be a part of, we're going to take two. These are those merchants of the world who grew rich off of the whole Babylon. They grew rich. Now you've got another nation coming in that wants to grow rich off of the whole of Babylon. But their nation is being judged. And when I listen to the sister speak about the fact that they need to give their lives to Christ, I'm not uh, against that. Um, there's one thing I, I want to see if I can pull up that uh, um Proverb, Proverb 126, if I have it correct, Proverb 1, verse 26, okay, Proverb 1, verse 26, okay, many of these people laughed and looked to gain footholds through the oppression, through the murder, through the degradation of Yashara. Now, when trouble comes, when trouble comes, they calling out to the most high. But you see, not only is the most high judging them because they did not honor him. He's also judging them because he said, touch not mine anointed, touch not mine anointed. Yasharel is not asking for uh, something that belonged to them. They're asking for their rightful due, for justice, for humanity. And many of these people are just looking to keep rich. They're lining up with Babylon. They want to be counted in the number with Babylon and stand on top of Yasharel. I've lived near, matter of fact, and the house that I moved into was next door to people from India. And initially, my thought was one way. Um, you know, how you doing? But I'm going in my house. I'm doing what I do, you know, just like any other neighbor on the street. Other than speaking at the time, I really had no interest because I was trying to take care of my own business. But from the onset, the husband, upon seeing us, it became one game after another. We tried to bring the moving truck into the driveway. He kept blocking the driveway. We said something to him. We bring in the moving truck. He blocked it and blocked it. We go, we come back with stuff. He blocked it. And blocked. Just knock on my door and tell me when you want to come in. Like we had to ask his permission to just be able to bring the stuff. He just blocked it and blocked. This was the very first meeting. I had already witnessed many encounters at Dunkin' Donuts, and I don't even go to 7-Elevens anymore personally. Um, But at first, I thought these were isolated incidents. They were not. Just like they have a caste system over there, 
many of these people, not all, some of the younger ones see what's going on and the parents don't want to listen because they bring old ways and old thoughts and they believe they're going to gain a foothold over here because they recognize Yasharel is economically oppressed. Not just we are completely oppressed, but they want to take advantage of it. Then something goes wrong. Something goes wrong. Mm. And when you look at Proverbs 126, Yahuwah is talking about what he will do. I also will laugh at your calamity and will mock when your fear cometh. See, we're in a calamitous situation right here, right now. Just trying to be able to live in peace is calamitous for Yasharel in Babylon. Okay. But what does Yahuwah say when the judgment begins and they cry out? I also will laugh at your calamity and will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me and I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Understand, beloved. Understand. I listened to the sister and a lot of what, and I believe her name is Carrie Ann. Um, I like listening to her videos, but there was one thing she said. She said they need to look at second Chronicles seven fourteen and pray unto the Lord. Praying unto the Lord is right. But if my people, those are Yasharel, that Chronicles, Second Chronicles 714 is talking about when we're scattered. If my people, which are called by my name, see, everybody in the world is not called by his name. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Now, can some of them be saved? I can't say because I don't know all things. The Lord shows me what he shows me according to his determination. But what I do know is it's a twofold situation. It's judgment. At the same time, that same enemy that they want to lie in bed with and they have, they prostituted themselves with because India and Middle East, they're part of, even though the Middle East is a Muslim or there's no such thing. Many of, of those countries that they call the Middle East or Northeast Africa, okay, they try to disassociate, and it's not even Africa, but they want to disassociate the content, the, con the continent with the people to take it for themselves, okay? But if my people, it's a very distinct statement. If my people, whose people? Yah's people which are called by whose name? Yah's name. Shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, whose face? Yah's face. And turn from their wicked ways. Then will I, who? Yah, hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. One of the things, beloved, when the time of the end comes, Yahuwah said judgment will begin in my house first in the house of Yasharel. And if they're scarcely saved, what chance do many of the other ones have, particularly when if they were following, if they were following the ways, the laws of the most high, they would not look to loot and plunder his people. They would not. This is a judgment. And as far as that pestilence being sent there, Babylon, they know they are outnumbered. The Babylonians are a minority. They are the new minority. But because everybody's gotten to this habit of being used to being called the minority, it's like we let it go. No, we the majority. We the majority. They're the minority. They're trying to shrink the numbers. One of the things the sister said, and men, much of what I listened to in her video, she was spot on. Because I was already getting flooded with it. That's why I'm doing this, this piece right here. They're trying to depopulate. They're, they're doing what they've always done. 
This is an, a, an annihilating people, nation, who? Babylon. They are the annihilators. They come in and they commit or attempt to commit genocide against the people. Even when they talk about um, the so-called Jews who are not Jews, okay, they talk about this so-called Holocaust that Hitler did. It's funny to me because Hitler patterned his behavior after what Babylon did. Hitler did what he did in the 30s and early 40s. He was patterning it after America. What America did, cleanse the land, cleanse the land. The Holocaust started in America, twofold. One Holocaust, they went over to and, and grabbed Yasharel, and anyone they could not control, they murdered. They also came into a land not their own and did everything in their power to commit genocide, a massive Holocaust. They tried to take it worldwide, literally worldwide, annihilating people. So I say all of this, they did germ warfare. So would it be shocking if germs were sent to India to try to downsize that number of people, massive, massive number of people? No, it would not. Would it be a shock that uh, this so-called virus is spreading everywhere? And yet those who try to control the narrative, who speak from the demonic position of the media thinking you trust him who speak him with him fork tongue knowing you don't um that they would say yasharel has it yasharel has it do i believe they're trying to spread it among us yes i do do i believe there is a massive outbreak over there because the number of their population is growing exponentially yes i do but it's also being used as part of the punishment. You don't think so? Hmm. Weren't these same set people used as part of our punishment? Weren't they used as a punishment for Yasharel, for us not following the most high? They were used as a punishment. And even when time was up, they're like the belt that when mommy puts the belt down, the belt jump up and want to keep whipping and won't stop. So therefore the belt has to be destroyed. Okay? No. No, but I will say this. If my people, which are called by my name, who's talking? Yahuwah. If my people, this is after the temple, after the celebration, after the dedication, after the praise, after the worship. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then mm, will I, who die, Yahuwah, hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Oh, he hears us, beloved. That's why all hell is breaking loose and it's happening all over the world. When the prophet Baruch was speaking to the angel of the Lord and he said, how will I know it's the end of days? We are at the in the days, what will be the one guaranteed sign that distinguishes it from all others? He said it will happen all over the world. You don't have mass flooding just here in America. It's all over the world. There is a statement in the book of Isaiah. I will make springs of waters and rivers in the desert. Well, there are rivers in the desert right now. When he speaks of judging Asia, China is just toe up from the floor. Up. Japan is shook. There are volcanoes and earthquakes and fires and floods. Many people may say, well, that always happened. Yes, it did. But not all over the world. Nonstop. Nonstop. You would think one place was right next door to the other and their continents and oceans apart. India is under judgment, beloved. Because they are part of Asia and they prostituted themselves to Babylon. They want a piece of the pie. So should they repent? Should we repent? Yes, beloved. But let me say this. 
when you speak of Second Chronicles 714, he's speaking of Yahshua and us being able to come home. He is not speaking of a people who wanted to keep us oppressed and benefit financially and think themselves above based on a caste system. What caste system? This caste system that in actuality, they're not a race the way you think of a race because actually they're a mixture. They are what you would call the half breed. They kept breeding among half breed and created an ethnic group. Okay. The Dravidians, who came out of supposed Africa, the Dravidians, and the Europeans who came from the Russian steppe and created this people. And that's where you get that caste system in India. And anybody that had too much tone was considered an untouchable. They were considered less than, oh, no, 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 no. The judgment has come. And he said he would judge all the nations beloved. And he uses... Those Babylonians who are warmongers, they love what they do is what they do naturally. But now it's too late. We're looking at something that has all the earmarks of the beginning of a civil war. You have two groups in this country who have completely opposite desires, demands, and intentions. Yeshua HaMashiach said it best. A house divided against itself cannot stand. This house has cracks and tears the foundations crumbling. It's rotten to the core. It's not going to stand. And it is not being judged by the thoughts, desires, and hopes of man. It's judged by the most high. And we see it coming to pass. The increase even in murders of many of our brothers and sisters, Yahuwah knows, and he's speeding it up. That's why time is flying. It's flying, beloved. And remember one thing. When they say, ah, oh, we have peace, sudden calamity is coming. We have peace. Right when... Uh, Lincoln was getting the presidency. The South was so concerned that he was going to end slavery and take away the people and take away their ability to just do whatever evil they wanted to do. They revolted when they thought they were losing power and they rushed for Sumter right when Lincoln was about to take his presidency. Well, it's the same thing that happened now, right before uh, Biden took office, they bum rushed the Congress and the people are clashing and clashing and clashing. They're trying to make law after law after law, but the lawmaker is judging now. You've got these judges that are nothing but evening wolves trying to protect murderers over the victim, but the true judge that sits high. And looks, look, whoo, mm, mm, mm. this is what he's doing. Mm. I also will laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear comes. See, mm -mm. you can move and move. They like playing chess, but mm, your most high is like the whole board is mine. You can run, do what you will. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Beloved, the whirlwind is here. There's a whirlwind. No, it's not just in Babylon. It's all over the world. You got protests in areas where there's very few Israelites, although we're scattered all over the world. Why? Because he's making them turn on each other. It's a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. No, mm -mm. it's the end of Esau's reign. It's the end of the battle. And all those Gentiles that are coming in, when that fullness, we are nearing, if not at the fullness of the Gentiles, beloved. We're looking at judgments. We're living, walking straight through prophecy. 
India is under judgment. Those who came to Babylon here in America and look at his people as though they're less than them and try to line themselves up with Babylon. He told you in second Esdras because you prostituted yourself to Babylon. Would I have judged you as hostile had you not went after my people and they tried to align themselves with Babylon. He said, I'm going to treat you like a whore that's been beaten down and can't receive her lovers. They are under judgment. Now, you might say, well, that's harsh. I think it was harsh when we went under judgment. See, the innocent as well as the guilty were caught up. That judgment was complete, beloved. We're coming to the end of the matter. And as we watch these nations, many even of our own nation from that two thirds, whether the two thirds are winnowed out in the wilderness when we leave or whether the two thirds begin to be winnowed out before we leave. We may be one of the one third. God bless them. God bless us that we make it and be in that number, beloved. We're walking through judgment, the judgment of the nations, and it's not going to stop. It's increasing and increasing. They're trying to use fear. The only fear Yasharel need have is of the most high fear the Lord, because the fear of the Lord will keep us from doing anything other than what he told us, honoring his laws, statutes and commands. It will guide us, keep us. And protect us, beloved. We are watching the end of the matter. And we're watching all the nations. Do I celebrate it? No. Do I understand it? Yes. Does my heart celebrate the end of this, our captivity? Yes. Yes, I do. And these nations that think they're coming in to oppress. One more time. This is what Yahuwah said. I also will laugh at your calamity. Mm, mm. I will mock when your fear cometh. Mm. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction as a whirlwind. Well, the whirlwind's here, beloved. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, and, but I will not answer. Mm. No. They shall seek me early but they shall not find me. Those who give their lives to Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, what the Lord will, will be done, but let his judgment go forth so that we are at the end of the matter, not under a people that we should not be with anymore, whipping us to bits, killing us, not under our own people who are so misguided because they sided with that way of life, following the way of the world and not the way of the most high, because it's everywhere. It's flooding the televisions. It's they want them and they lure them with their way of life. And many of them are blind, beloved, and they're following the blind. But if my people turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. That's Yah talking to Yashareh. If my people who are called by my name, as we watch, I listen when Biden gave his first address and the people interrupted and told him, shut the prisons down. What prisons? These prisons for profits. They let them make it a business. Hmm. Who were they imprisoning? My, 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 my. It come the whirlwind. And Biden said he's going to shut those prisons. Those prisons should have never been opened. But now, Yah's here. And they're re reaping the whirlwind. They are reaping the whirlwind. May his will be done. Yes, yes, yes. On earth as it is in heaven. See, he's cleaning it up. He's putting things back in balance, beloved. 
And that judgment is here. That judgment. You can use soft words. I'm on your side. Let his judgment, his will be done. And maybe we'll stop seeing. I know maybe, forgive me for that. We will stop seeing all this murder and degradation. TV's flooded with it. It's demonic. It's sexual. Everybody got a butt. Everybody got breasts. Every female's got female body parts, but they dangle it in front of you. Okay. They take the men and try to make them women. Take the women and try to make them men. If you don't go along, you'd be, whoo, you're so mean. Oh, you're homophobic. No, I'm trueophobic. I'm not even trueophobic. I'm liophobic. I'm anybody that's against my father's will. That's who I am. Anybody against my father's will, I'm a phobic to you because you are deaf and destruction. But at this point, we've been a whirlwind, beloved. And what we're seeing in India, judgment. And understand something. That's just something they're showing us. They're flooding us with it. Supposedly now all the blacks are picking on Asians like we really got time or got interest. Okay, but I'm gonna go to that for one second. I find it amazing. You got this so-called Asian hate crime. You should have went and grabbed Trump. What wasn't he the one that started it? But you're trying to change and control the narrative. Yasharel ain't worrying about them. Yasharel wants to get to the end of the matter. He's in the midst, beloved. He's in the midst. He hears us. He has heard us. And he has come for his holy name, his holy name, and for his people. Let us repent. Let us remain humble and let our eyes stay upon our Father, his word, his Holy Spirit, following and receiving as he will give to his beloved. May we bless you, keep you among us, Father. We give you praise, honor, and glory, for thou art the one and only true Adonai. Thank you for your word of life. Thank you for it enlightens us in this dark, dark world. These nations are in gross darkness, but a great light is upon Yasharel, the light of life itself, thy holy word and thy holy spirit, Father. And we give you praise today on this Shabbat. We honor you. Teach us, guide us, keep us. Let us follow no lie. Correct us and measure, Father, through grace and mercy. And let us be at the end of the matter. Give us signs that you are with us. Because I know you have heard from on high. Beloved, keep your eyes open. And we thank you in the mighty name of Yahshua HaMashiach. We have our eyes open, Father, because we know from whence our help comes, to whom we are belong and to whom we are committed. Yahoo is in the midst, beloved. He's in the midst. He's not far away. We're not waiting for some other day. He's in the midst of us. And those nations are reaping the whirlwind. If you remember, any of the scriptures say, how and weep for Moab. Weep. Why? Because their destruction has come. A word, beloved. And Asia is with Babylon. And he is judging the nations. He's going to bring us out with a mighty hand. And no weapon formed against us. I don't care if you call it COVID. I don't care if you call it this strain, that strain, whatever thing you call it. It shall have no power. No weapon formed against us is going to prosper. It won't work. Though a thousand fall at our right hand and ten thousand at our feet it shall not come nigh us we shall simply witness the sinner's reward beloved but our hearts are humble and we give praise and honor to the most high i'm not going to speak like some soft cushy christian oh lord help us all no father no 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 cats down those evil ones they've murdered innocent blood 
and they don't care. They want to be a perpetual problem. No, no, no. Let thy will be done. Let Yah's will be done. Shabbat shalom, beloved. A word.